My name is Susan and I was first diagnosed with psoriasis when I was 17. I've actually had it my entire life, um, but I was misdiagnosed every single time I went to the doctor's office. Everybody told my mother and I that I have eczema. So I lived thinking that's what I had and we were given topical hydrocortisones and nothing ever helped. And then one day we went to a doctor in Baltimore, Dr. Wolf, a very good dermatologist. I'm saying that now because when I walked in and I said I have this problem, he said you have psoriasis. And my mother looked at me and I looked at her and I said, what do you mean psoriasis? I have eczema. And he said, no, you have psoriasis. People um, are different in terms of when they decide to come in and see a doctor. Some people manage things at home or they just learn to live with things and they don't necessarily come in right away and other people come in right away. So it varies a lot as to when people come in. Because psoriasis presents at different ages. I mean, there's a, a peak of when it shows up, which is usually the um, late teens and early 20s. That's the peak of when most people manifest itself. But then there's other people where it shows up at a very young age, and other people where it shows up um, uh, as an elderly person. It depends upon the genes that they have and what triggers their psoriasis. We were really surprised because we had heard eczema, eczema, eczema and it turned out that that's not what it was. So it really began, I learned about psoriasis at that point and started getting treatments that were managing it better than it had been in the past. One of the main ways we can distinguish psoriasis from eczema is that psoriasis is a, called a papular squamous disorder. So in other words, the red scaly plaque is very well demarcated from normal skin. Whereas eczema, the edges kind of are more diffuse and not as well demarcated. So that's how we distinguish eczema from psoriasis. Also, the distribution of where the red scaly spots are are different in psoriasis than most cases of eczema. And that's how we can d distinguish psoriasis from eczema. In the very beginning, I had it on my eyelids, in my ears, on my head. Those were some of the first places I had psoriasis. Um, then it kind of graduated as I got older to my knees and my shins and my arms, my elbows, you know, more specifically. And that's kind of where it has stayed. So um, as time has gone on, it left my scalp, it left my eyelids, and it just, um, you know, where it migrated, it's, it stayed. Well, psoriasis is one of those diseases that we diagnose based upon the clinical picture of the patient. So we don't have a good blood test to diagnose psoriasis, and we uh, often have to diagnose it based upon the location of where the red scaly plaques are. So psoriasis tends to appear in certain areas like the scalp, the elbows, the knees, the hands and the feet. And so based upon the distribution of where the scaly spots are, that helps us in diagnosing psoriasis. Once I'm confident with the diagnosis of psoriasis, I explain to them that this is a genetic disorder that is uh, something that we can manage very well now with the treatments that we have.